the layering and tracing videos. This is going to be part one, which is going to consist of layering, and then part two will consist of tracing. So let's begin. We have two files that I shared with you. I have a picture of the bird that's labeled, and I also have an Illustrator file that has the original bird in it. Before we even begin labeling our layers, let's take a look at the original file and note that the bird here is too dark. I want to be able to trace on top of him later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the bird, I'm going to go to properties, and I'm going to lower my opacity to 50%. And then I'm going to go back to layers. And I had already labeled this. This is going to be called layer one for you when you first open up Illustrator, you're gonna go ahead and change that actually to sketch. So you're gonna double click and call it sketch. The first thing you wanna do after you do this is lock it. You don't want anything ending up on your sketch layer. If it does and you turn your sketch off, your entire drawing is gonna disappear. All right, so let's take a look. We have layer two in the back and we have layer three in the front. We have to work from the back all the way to the front. It makes sense on overlapping. We've been talking about space and overlapping. So layer two, which is foot one, is gonna be over here. Let's do the plus sign. We're gonna double click on that and we're gonna call this foot one. Our next layer, layer three, will be foot two. And layer four is gonna be the main body. It's also going to include the tail. So all of this is considered part of the main body. Number five is gonna be the beak because I want it tucked underneath this wing layer. So we're gonna say beak for layer five. Layer six is gonna be the actual wing, which is gonna include the head as well, because it's one big shape. And then the last one, which is layer seven, is gonna consist of the eye. We can call it eye instead of eyes. Okay, because I'm gonna start from the bottom up, I'm gonna lock everything except for the foot number one. I want to have it highlighted and unlocked before I even begin to trace. The next video is going to go over how to begin tracing this and filling this in.